Welcome to my channel. This is JC Rock and Little Reviews. My name is John. Today I have a review of a new album by a Warrior Soul called Out and Bail. So in this video I will be giving uh, just a quick history of the band Warrior Soul. Then I'll just talk about the album, the songs. I'll give my final score thoughts and then the score at the end. So anyway, let me talk about Warrior Soul. So they're a band that I used to listen to when I was younger. Uh, they were the type of band, they were kind of like a combination of that LA like hair or sleaze metal, like something like uh, Guns N' Roses or Motley Crue. And they're also kind of like those like emerging grunge bands of like the early 90s, maybe something like Nirvana, Pearl Jam, that type of band. So they released a few albums in the early 90s. Uh, so for example, uh, they released The Last Decade, Last Century in 1990. Drugs, God, and the New Republic in 1991, and Salutations from the Ghetto Nation in 1992. So they broke out like, in the 90s, and they reformed around 2007. Since then, they have been releasing a few albums, um, and that brings us to the new one called Out on Bail. Now, it's not a long album. It's only like eight songs, and it has a runtime of like 34 minutes. So it's kind of like a nice short album. So I'll just uh, go uh, through the songs right now. The album opens with We're Alive. So after a slow building intro, uh, the instruments come into the song. Now the song is a sound similar to that like 90s alternative or grunge. Um, the vocals are very like raspy. Uh, think of like uh, Rod Stewart uh, type of vocals, but like in a hard rock style. The song has lots of energy. It kind of moves at a fast pace. The guitars are distorted and there's a brief solo played using like wah-wah effects. Next is One More For The Road. Another song with a very grungy sound. Uh, the guitar riff uses like an echo type effect. And the song is like a little slower than the previous one. The main guitar riff is repetitive and it is played throughout the song. Next is Hip Hip Hooray. So the song is a hard rocker with lots of energy. The grungy sound of the guitars is still present. The song has kind of like a Pearl Jam type of feel with like the distorted like bar chords being played. Now the lyrics are very political. So like. Like the last line of the song is, uh, they just say like, destroy the GOP. So you can get an idea of what that's about. Actually, most of the lyrics on uh, the songs on this album are about like current events and uh, you know, that's just the type of songs that they write. The next song is the title track called Out On Bail. Now this one is a little different. So this one is more of that like sleaze metal sound as opposed to like the grunge sound. So something along the lines of like Guns N' Roses or LA Guns. It has the power chords, those bluesy guitar riffs. You know, the song has all the attitude of those like LA bands of the late 80s. And this is the one song that does kind of stand out on the album as being like that type of like sleaze rock. Next is Cancelled Culture. So this one is back to that like grunge rock sound. And then this one has more like a punk rock sound, I guess. It has a bass intro, continue with that fast pace, and just like lots of attitude in the song. The song has the loud guitars, it has that isolated bass line, kind of comes back at one point. And it does have like a really a cool guitar solo. Next is End of the World, and this one, another one, very 90s alternative and grunge sound. It has those like power chord progressions, uh, followed by like the distorted guitars, playing kind of like a repetitive riff in the verse section. Now, the bands that kind of remind me of this, maybe like Nirvana or Weezer, like that type of a uh, song with like those like chord progressions. Um, pretty cool song. Next is Yo-Yo. And this one is a very, again, 90s grunge sound. Something more along the lines of like Pearl Jam or Candlebox. Lots of distorted guitars playing those chord progressions and those guitar riffs. And the bass guitar is kind of like heard in the forefront um, throughout the song. The final song is called The New Paradigm. Now this one's a little different. It has a slow building intro, has the isolated bass, the drums and the vocals. You know, the guitar is kind of in the background at first, playing like this like repetitive, like grunge style riff. The distorted guitars will come into the forefront at about like a minute and a half. This is a more of a slow and atmospheric type of song, very different than the previous songs. And this is the song that closes out the album. Like I said, it is a short album. So, in conclusion, this band does have a sound similar to that like early 90s sound, those early albums I was talking about before. I would say that this is mostly an alternative rock or grunge album, with the exception of that one song, the title track, that has that like Guns N' Roses type of sound. 
But if you like the 90s alternative, it's a decent album. You know, the lyrics are very political. They reflect current events. Otherwise, nothing groundbreaking here. I thought it was kind of just an, an okay album. So I'll give this a 7 out of 10. You know, I am a fan of that 90s alternative sound. So, you know, if I do hear an album bringing that back, I thought it was always pretty cool. But otherwise, there's nothing great. But let me know in the comments what you thought. And if you heard any of the other, like, recent albums from this band, I know they released one in 2020 or something like that. Anyway, that's all. My next review will be uh, Let There Be Witchery by Midnight. Then I have a two anniversary reviews, the debut of self-titled album by Foreigner and Fix the Brick by Jeff Rotel. I'll try to get this all in uh, this week if, if I have time. So please remember, like, comment, subscribe, uh, check out some of the other videos I will stick over there and I'll see you all in the next one.